this video editing does not have the first video showing the graphite construction lines but it shows the full process of painting Right now I am working with a detail paintbrush, usually they block out main colours and add detail later on, however I felt like doing something different. I'm currently working on the boot of the person I am painting and I cannot pronounce the name, so I'm not going to attempt it because that would be embarrassing. Right now I am working on skin tones, as acrylic painting is a new style of art for me, it's not going to be the wow factor, but as stated in previous videos, the whole point of me doing these YouTube channels is to show the learning curve that I have going from level zero to, as some may say, hero. Okay, I've finished with all the skin painting, the next parts I've got left is the clothing, the hair and the background. If you ever see the easel without the painting there, it's probably because I'm amending construction lines. starting to work on my clove painting. I've been analysing the photograph to work out what green to use, trying to find the closest green to the photograph. It's been a challenge but I finally found one and I'm starting to use it. Although the painting did fall off the easel, which is why I'm amending the easel so that it doesn't fall out. working on the details for the dress. It's in a dark green. drawing the while painting the dress 
I am going to be moving on to the jacket, I believe. If not, then I'll be on the hair in the background. off the shoe using a dark grey that I have mixed with white and black. I do have acrylic paints that are in grey already but they didn't match the photograph and as per usual I'm using the detail brush. finished the dress, the shoe and the skin, I'm now working on the mortar joints for a breezer block wall. finished the mortar in grey, now I'm starting to work on the yellow painting on the breezer blocks using the same paintbrush that I used at the start. I've finished the background, there's going to be a bit of neatening up for the joints. I have been, whilst painting this picture, been removing the canvas board from the easel, putting it next to a wall and viewing it from a distance, see if it looks right or not, as you can see right now. And then I come back and re place the canvas board onto the easel. It's a good habit to check your artwork every now and again rather than just free flowing through it all and not checking for any mistakes. slight mistake with saying that I'd finished the background. Because it's breezer blocks there's a lot of air voids in the block work so when you see the painting on the wall you can see the grey from the breezer block and that's the detail that I'm putting onto the painting at the moment. But it's definitely breezer block. If it was brick the surface would be smooth, there'd be no air bubbles to visually see on the wall, unless the brick's got a crack in it.
block details. Now I'm going to be neatening up the mortar joints. And then I'll move on to the jacket and the hair. photograph that I'm using that you saw first but second but as you could see the background wall is yellow with grey dots all over now to get this texture they would have had to have used a rolling paint painter because a paintbrush will have the bristles into the voids in the freezer block block in the grey for the jacket. It takes me quite a long time to achieve and what I find interesting about the previous video edit and this video edit is the amount of time that's spent on mixing colours and moving the canvas to a distance from you to check how it appears for any mistakes that can be improved, what needs working on next, to how much time is spent on actual painting. I'm going to be speeding through the paint mixing time, but all that I have left is the jacket, the hair, and the eyes. in the grey colours, there are three that I've got and now I'm applying it to the canvas board where the grey jacket is. The canvas board is bought from Arts Eza which is a unique unusual name. Arts Eza I believe it's called so please look it up if anyone's interested in that. First layer of grey paint on the jacket. I'm now using a detailed brush to mark down the shadows and the folds in the jacket. details and then I'll move on to the hair. It's coming to the end of 
this video edit and it's about a half an hour's length I was expecting an hour but well if paintings take quicker than others then the video editing is going to be different but I always aim to have an hour's worth of artwork done each day an hour's worth of video editing each day but until I've caught with every piece of artwork that I've done then I'll start my normal schedule second layer of paint for the hair and I believe that will be the finish for this painting. between photograph and the painting. this painting and now we've got a preview of the next video of Nia Jip Put. I'm hoping I've got that correct. She is an Asian woman and I expect the next video to be around 35 minutes long or half an hour.